walking into my fifth grade classroom. My teacher was Miss Rosenbaum, and I was so excited. She was the best fifth grade teacher there was at my school. I walked in, and the first thing I saw on her board was a giant apple with a face on it. We all walked in kind of confused, and she said, an apple a, a day keeps the doctors away. We were still confused. So she explained to us, every day she would write a quote or an inspirational saying or something like that to help inspire us. And like an apple a day keeps the doctors away and keeps you in good physical health, these quotes were supposed to help keep us in good mental health. Well, one of the first, wrote, one of the first quotes she wrote has stayed with me for the past six years. The challenge of leadership is to be strong, but not rude, be kind, but not weak, be bold, not a bully, be thoughtful, but not lazy, be humble, but not timid, be proud, but not arrogant, have humor, but without folly. You might be wondering why such a long quote about leadership would stick with a little 11-year-old girl. Well, my older sister and I had just started talking about being a leader to our younger siblings and being an example for them. She would be leaving to college in just a couple years, and then I'd be the oldest in the house for six whole years. I had no idea what I was going to do, and I would have to start learning the ropes of being a leader. This quote gave me a little bit of an idea of what I needed to do. <laughs> Even though I've spent the last five years as being the oldest sister, I try every day to become a better leader because now I'm not just a big sister. I'm also a leader at church for the kids' church ministry, and I'm a leader in dance for girls in my group ha that haven't been dancing as long. I struggle to balance being kind and loving while also being firm and making sure I know what's going on. I struggle to be the cool big sister who looks the other way when we all know my siblings shouldn't be doing what they're doing. And being the responsible big sister that tries to protect them from everything that could hurt them, even if it's themselves. Now, being a leader is a little bit of a juggling act between being firm and being really nice so that people want to follow you. We all look to leaders for guidance. Well, I look to my older sister, and my younger siblings look to me. We all have leaders that we look to in our lives. When we're adults, we look to our bosses in the workplace. We look to political leaders for national problems. But when you're in high school, the leaders you look to are your teachers. Teachers influence us every day. The leader, they lead us not only in our academics, but they teach us to be who we want to be and how to be better leaders. <laughs> in our own lives. Sorry, I just lost my place. Although teachers only lead each student for a short amount of time, they have huge impacts on all of, the, on all of us and impact the leaders of our society. At the beginning of the semester, when TED Talk topics were the only things on my mind, because I had no idea what I wanted to talk about, Mr. Timson assigned a reading by Machiavelli called The Prince. He gave us an, ex an excerpt to read. It was of cruelty and clemency and whether to be loved or feared. Now, The Prince is about leading an entire nation and armies, and Machiavelli said that love and loyalty only last for so long. They can, be, they can disappear at any moment without a moment's notice, but fear is something that stays inside of people. He said, for love is held by the tie of obligation, which, because men are a sorry breed, is broken on every whisper of private interest. But fear is bound by the apprehension of punishment, which never releases its grip. Now, Machiavelli was trying to tell princes how to lead whole nations. In high school, love and loyalty get you really far. <laughs> Unlike military and politics, where things like this apply. And in the workforce, I, according to my research that I did, those things apply a little bit there. But high school, that's not happening. Punishments, that's what kept these people from rebelling against these leaders. Like, they didn't want to rebel. But high school, we all know that high school students rebel. And punishments don't really scare us. So I, because of this, I knew that this was something I wanted to, this was something I wanted to do my TED Talk on. I knew that leadership was such a big part of my life, and I knew that I wanted to do my TED Talk on our biggest leader, our teachers.
So as I started to look into leadership in high school, I made a survey. I asked students who they thought our the best leader in our the best teacher as a leader in our school was. A lot of them answered Miss Ferb. So I asked them what what makes her a good leader? Why do we all like her? Why do we all follow her? Why would we do things for her if she's she's just a math teacher? She just teaches us, right? Well, according to the survey I took, the majority of students told, said that their favorite teachers were funny, they were compassionate and loving, and under a fourth of students said that their teachers were intimidating or scary. I mean, Ferb is a little bit of that, but maybe that's why we love her and that's why we follow her. Who knows? Students don't need someone who's going to scare them into doing their work. They don't need someone to reprimand them. We all have parents for that. We need someone we can relate to and someone that we can trust, someone who is a motherly figure who doesn't tell us we need to clean our rooms. We need someone that we love and who is relatable to us and not someone who scares us. So I interviewed Ms. Ferb and asked her what she thought on this. She told me that there needed to be a very trusting relationship between students and teachers. It needed to be full of love and respect and that it must be, go both ways. It couldn't just be one-sided. The relationship couldn't just be one-sided. Ms. Ferb obviously does not agree with Machiavelli in his writings where he believed that fear would scare his followers into, into following princes, Ms. Ferb knows how far love and loyalty will go in high school. Teachers, in my opinion, do so much more than just teach us how to solve a few math problems, write a properly formatted sentence, or make us memorize the parts of a cell. They teach us how to be leaders. But this isn't a normal lesson. This isn't one there will be a lecture and notes posted on the website for. This is something they teach through example. They teach us how to lead. They teach us what is really important in life, the things we always ask. What, what how is this going to help me in life? This is one of the lessons that helps us. And so my question to you is what kind of leaders are our teachers? But really, more importantly, what kind of leaders will we choose to be once we leave? Thank you.